Hey guys, and welcome to Cooking with Mama O. Basically, I started this show because I'm now a family of four. I'm not only cooking for myself and my partner anymore. And on top of that, um, my kids eat a lot, so I just need to make sure that there's enough. I also just want to share these recipes with you and hopefully inspire you to create something that's well-balanced and wholesome for your family. And I'm super excited to be cooking in Yummy Magazine's Test Kitchen. I'm sure you know all about their magazines that they give out monthly, which you can find all over Nairobi. But now I'm going to talk to you about their calendar. It's super fun. It's a recipe calendar, so basically, not only can you see the dates, but you can find lots of tasty, delicious, oh my gosh, look at these, all these recipes in the calendar. So if you'd like to find out more on where you can get yourself some, head on over to Yummy Magazine's page on Instagram or on Facebook. So let's start. So I'm gonna be making a chicken broth soup. And I know I've talked about this before, and I think it's just because it is just that good. So basically it is, cooking a whole chicken because you want the bones you want everything in there in a pot of water with loads of ingredients so what i personally like to use and you can change this up to what you like to use i like to use ginger garlic parsley coriander carrots spring onions leeks celery potatoes and onions my kids love potatoes so i like to add that but this is also a really good way of getting in a lot of vegetables that your kids will enjoy without like seeing broccoli on their plate or something. All right. So once I've finished with that, what I'm gonna do is start by sauteing the onion. I'm gonna add some garlic. A bit of the ginger already, and the parsley, and the coriander. I'm also going to add in all my potatoes because I like to, you know, get it a little bit softer before it starts boiling. And my carrots, so the hard ingredient. So while this is cooking, I'm gonna go get my chicken out. I like to freeze my chicken as soon as I get it so it stays fresh. And in this dish, you can actually cook it straight from when it's frozen because obviously it's gonna boil everything and it's gonna be cooked fresh. Yeah, so all you have to do is just add the whole chicken in there. And then you fill it up with water. And you add in the rest of your ingredients. Some salt and pepper. Let it come to a boil. And then we're gonna cover it and let it um, cook slowly for 40 minutes or so. All right, so that's done boiling. And basically all I wanna do now is shred the chicken up and put it back into the soup. But again, you can do whatever you like with yours, big pieces, small pieces, however you fancy. It's all up to you. But be careful because it is piping hot, so you don't want to burn yourself. What I like to do is I just like to take it apart with my hands and then just start shredding it into even smaller pieces with two forks. And then I just put it back into the soup. And basically that just makes it very a lot easier for my babies to ingest it. And also I really like shredded chicken in the soup. Once you're done with that, just gonna put that into your soup. And then lastly, before I finish it off, I'm gonna get some sweet corn. My kids love sweet corn, and actually so do I. So I just like to add that in there. All right, and there you have it. That is chicken broth soup. It is just full of so much goodness. And then what I like to do is grab myself some jars, either small, big, whatever you like. And with the remaining soup, I like to just add that in here and then you can drink some on a daily, which is very, very healthy for you. Also, if you're going to the gym and stuff like that, like I do, or if you're quite active, it just really helps in repairing everything and you know, just keeping your bones and everything in check for all that heavy activity that you're doing. If you have a baby, 
blend this up for them and it is really great. And if they're sick, just a super loan because if they can't eat or anything like that, it's all the nutrients they need to rehydrate them and keep them, you know, help them fight off that sickness. So what I'm going to be using today is this whiskey hot sauce by Jars of Goodness. It is a really tasty sauce. It's a bit sweet as well, which I like. And I'm going to add it inside my bowl of soup just to give it that extra oomph. And you know, it's like one of those things on a really cold day when you just want to snuggle up and just have that kind of bowl of piping hot soup. This is your go-to. I'm going to mix it up in my own bowl. Um, I, the reason I like to add chili afterwards is because everyone in my house has their own threshold of chili or maybe they don't like it or they do. But for me, this specific, this specific chili works really nicely. So. You can see all that goodness in one bowl. All right, let me add a bit of chili. Coriander and parsley. Right. Give it a try. Oh, that whiskey sauce is so good. Mmm. It's like just the right amount of spice. Like it's not too spicy that you don't want to eat the dish, but it's just like giving you like opening up your nose and like mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I wonder where I learned to cook like this like this is the easiest thing that you'll ever make in your life mm. Mm. perfect and that's it